Me did the yan yan techua, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp. Tap tap send. In TNA, also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Never see Kakom where Busia for Wagana for Nanina. Tap tap send. Papa no no. Coming back from a very busy weekend, of course, we are here to give you the very best of what we know to do best, and that is giving you insightful show business analysis. My name is Roland Amati, and this is the usual Sami Flex Speaks, an editorial on Sami Flex TV. In fact, if you follow this platform, then you know that, yes, one of our flagship programs, aside Showbiz Daily, is Sami Flex Speaks. And here, my big man here gives you some serious breakdown analysis of whatever goes on in our entertainment industry, both oh, in Ghana too. and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you true! Oh, you true! Yeah, so what's the real <laughs> they say? Oh, you yeah, true! <laughs> Big man, welcome. Charlie, how was the weekend, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really had fun. Um, right. Mine was stressful, but we mm, had fun as well, course. which is uh, not in the usuals mm. because Sundays are not the hot days, mm -hmm. either Friday or Saturday. But this time, we had something on Sunday, the industry gathering, and it was big. We want to say thank you to you guys. God bless you for making it happen. To those who came, uh, we can't not mention names to say mm. thank you to you because we will surely leave someone out and a person will not be happy mm -hmm. with that. So we will never mention anybody like that. Mm. So once again, we want to say thank you guys for coming in your numbers and thank you guys for coming to each our goat and our uh, punching cracker. We mm. want you guys to do and more. So, and the fufu. So mm. we will surely do it again some other time. And I know that it is going to be bigger than what we even experienced. Wow, that sends us to the business of the day. Let me say thanks to Karen City Guitar, Rasta Richie Flex, and everybody giving us huge support behind the scenes. In fact, today we have another interesting topic on board. Mm -hmm. Portable. Mm -hmm. We are going international. In fact, Omonaja, we are into your country today. Portable is on lockdown. I mean, smack down. Mm. <laughs> In a huge back and forth with one of their finest um, how do you call it? A video directors in the country, and the, his name is T.G. Omori. According to Portable, he doesn't understand why T.G. Omori's rates has shot up. In fact, skyrocketed like that. He just contacted him not long ago for a video shoot, and according to Portable, or a video snapper that popped up online, is out uh, because uh, T.G. Omori is demanding $50,000 mm -hmm. for a video shoot. Mm. Portable, Portable says he doesn't understand. Like, you know, you know the bar, like, how? T.G. Omori, were you not the same person that shot Zazu mm -hmm. for, for him? Like, his hit single Zazu. And he has that relationship with you, and now you are saying, because you shoot for Ashake and all those guys, now you want to charge him $50,000. Portable says he doesn't understand. There is a video evidence to it. Let's go watch the video. When we come back, our big man will give us a little insight. And after that, there is another one also on the table. We will go into it. Stay. We will be right back. I bank was seeing a multi low. Shamba. Then bad room, my bad room, then bad room, my sofa. No view shoes as a video. And you can't wear my gummy too. Many people do have said I want to shoot video for me. 
No, 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 bad way, we no get. No, no, they my mad man. No, no, I can't say my two video for me, say, 50,000 coin dollar. Kilo de. Am I worried? Am I yawed? Am I yawed? I'm not new, 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 Say this why these people don't shoot there. Yeah. You who they watch them, you don't want, you don't want this. I hate it, I hate it. Why, why? In the street, you die late. In the street, you get cancer. So I just buy you there. Yeah, I want to die. Twenty, thirty, four, 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 I think I remember that day MC Berryman was there. Mm. I don't know whether you were also there, but I met him at the airport. Uh, that day, that, that day, the guy was not happy. He wasn't happy. No, he wasn't happy. Why? I tried to even engage a conversation with him, but he didn't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried to talk uh, to him on the day, and he didn't mind me. Mm. That was portable. And mm. I was asking, oh, why? Who has made the man angry like that? I couldn't talk to him on the day. So. I love him. Mm. I love his style. Mm -hmm. I love his attitude. Mm -hmm. And I must say, he's one sensation from Nigeria mm. that I always love to see. Wow. Now, the video he just played, mm -hmm. unfortunately, I did not understand what exactly he was mm. talking. But um, someone interpreted it for us. Okay. And according to what was written there, mm. Potabo is not happy that T.J. Omori, mm -hmm. who is one of the finest video directors, mm. music video directors in Nigeria, is demanding a 50K dollars from him to shoot his video. Mm. Then I said there is Wahala. There is Wahala because it looks like my good friend Portable mm -hmm. is still not aware of his environment. Mm. Yes. Maybe he sees himself like he's just doing something to uh, make himself happy and the people around him happy. Really? He is not seeing the business of what he's doing. Because if he's seeing the business of what he's doing, I'm not sure he will be telling T.G. Omori that a video he wants from him will cost 50k dollars and he's mad at him no he's not seeing it unless he wants to say that because of some relationship he has with tg omori mm -hmm. tg omori should not quote that figure to him mm. but if you ask me i know some Ghanaian artists some top Ghanaian artists who have spoken to mm. tg omori and he's mentioning the same figure mm. to, so it is not as if it is something out of the ordinary mm. i'm sure as it stands now mm. that is the guy's figure when it comes to production of music videos mm. So if Patabo is saying he doesn't understand why he's taking 50k dollars, then one, and he's mad at it, he's even complaining on social media, mm -hmm. then he still doesn't know what he's doing as an he, artist. He even screenshotted their chat and posted it online. No, like he still doesn't know what he's doing. You negotiate with a, a music video director, he says there's his charge, mm -hmm. and you are mad. Well, he has relationship with him. No, so what is preventing him from also coming out with a counter... Um, Offer. <laughs> what is preventing him from doing that? Mm -hmm. Because the guy says 50k dollars. Mm. Yes, he has mentioned it to other artists I know in Ghana. Mm. The other artists, they are not ready to pay 50 Ghana. Mm. But nobody's complaining. They think maybe he, demand, he deserves that, mm. but they are not complaining. Mm. So if you think you still want to do it, it is just a matter of putting out a counter um, offer. Mm. Like, so, okay, you said your charge is 50k dollars. I can't pay 50k dollars. Can you do this X amount for me? Mm. Then you take it from there. Then bah, you go. I don't know why he's complaining. Because uh, according to what he even said in this snippet, uh -huh. what some of them has to do with the fact he's even had so many offers uh -huh. of people who would want to shoot the videos, like videos for, for him. For free. But because he has a relationship with T.G. Omori, and it is one of his, his videos, as far as Azu is concerned, uh -huh. it is one of the videos that blew T.G. Omori. So he was expecting him to have given him some. You see, so this, this, this is business. That's why I'm saying that he still is not sure what he is doing around. Mm -hmm. This is business. The first one, I don't know what agreement went into it, mm -hmm. but a guy has given you a video which has about 11 million views. Mm. 11 million views means that you have made a lot of money. As it starts now in Nigeria, 
I might not know who is number one, but from where I sit, mm. if you ask me to mention any um, Nigerian music video director, I, I will not mention Clarence Peters anymore. Mm. I will not mention Cezanne or any of those guys anymore. Mm -hmm. I will mention T.G. Omori straight. Mm. Because at the moment, he has the top videos running in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to deal with such a person, know that he's hot. Mm. For the former relationship or the earlier relationship there, forget it. It is no more the business. The business is what is ahead of us. Oh, Go crazy. squarely, face it, and put out your point, what you also want to offer. Mm -hmm. But to come on social media crying, I beg to differ. Mm. That's why I asked earlier, is he under any record label? Record label. And information that came out was not so clear. Mm. Uh, looks like a certain Akpoku Giri or whatever, mm. some big name like that. Akpoki King or something like that, who used to manage him. Mm. And that they even had that issues. Of, of they had that. some financial issues, issues where um, Zazu, Zazu Portable was accusing him of not giving him enough money mm. and being ripping him off and blah, 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 boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. We also know of stories that says that, oh, they have come back together and that everything is okay now. Mm. So this guy, I think was doing some small, small investment in him. Mm -hmm. But as to whether it is a, a real record label signing, mm -hmm. I cannot tell. Mm -hmm. But someone should tell my good friend, Potabo, that music business is not about friendship. Music business is not about, you did for me yesterday, uh -huh. so today you have to do the same. For me. When he's talking, it feels like he's singing. <laughs> you know, when you play that video, like, like what he said, like I said, I did not get it. But it felt like he was singing. And Charlie, I like him, but he should really reduce the jokes. <laughs> like, he should reduce the jokes and be serious for serious music business. Mm. No, no, no. I think the jokes are becoming too much on his part. I, mm. I would wish that someone sit him down to coach him. Mm. But I see him like not being someone who even listen. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, the way I see him. Like, yeah, his lifestyle. No, I see him to be unruly. <laughs> like, I see Portable to be very unruly. Like, ah, he's that guy. Yeah. Leave me, let me do what I want to do. I want like, to see do. the way he was ranting. Bah, 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 yeah. bah, bah. That's what he wants. He says what he wants to say, and that's fine. Mm. I remember the other day I watched a video where he was supposed to go play some show. And that he, <laughs> he wasn't able to play. <laughs> he took him. the money. He did not go play the show. And, like, hey! Potabo. <laughs> In fact, be focused. Mm. He's not being focused. But yeah, someone yeah. should teach him the rudiments of the game mm. now. TG Obori 50k demands. To me, I don't see it to be outrageous. Mm. Even if you think that your pocket or your account can't take care of such a budget. It's just a matter of talk, negotiation. Sit down, talk to him, and let him know what you can also offer. Mm -hmm. Because that guy, he has a touch. Mm. So far, his music videos are on top. So Potabo should come home and stop misbehaving. Potabo. If you are watching this, or if you if you can get this footage to him, make sure you also give him this advice, what my big man is saying. In fact, the music business has grown to a certain level, and he needs to come to terms with this. We are moving straight to the next story. There's another video that popped up online that mm -hmm. has to do with T, uh, DJ Khaled. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, DJ Khaled also jamming to, yes, in recent time we've seen him jamming to some of our brothers and sisters songs in in the states and it feels so good the latest one has to do with one song that has gone viral in fact when you check the views online i i, I think the last check i did was about 50 million views or so okay over 50 million views that has to do with kamido sugarcane remix that featured mayo kun and and all the guys and dj khaled was jamming to this in his car and some of the headlines one headline that caught my attention mm -hmm. has to do with DJ Khaled jamming to Nigerian singers, a uh, Nigerian singer Mayo Kun song. Mm. And I, I don't know, but I find this very alarming. Is it an error? Is it because they don't know who the song belongs to? Or it is just an agenda mm. to just push this to Nigeria? Big man, what's going on? Um, so you are talking about an Instagram page mm -hmm. or blog mm. with a name the mixed niger exactly and it says it is a news and media website mm. entertainment media cruise news and viral content mm. and it has 118k followers as of now as a matter of fact they don't follow anyone <laughs> when i checked they are not following they are not following anyone but they have 118k followers mm. their following is zero from their part mm -hmm. and they put out 
a post and say, ow, 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 ow. ow. DJ Khaled and his multi million dollar car vibing to my Kuhn song. Okay, so I want to look at it from two angles. angles. The first angle I want to look at it is from the fact that maybe the person in his wisdom wanted to say he was listening to Mayo Kun's verse on Camido's mm. song, Sugarcane Remix. Mm. That is my point of view first. Mm -hmm. That is if originally the person had good intentions in putting out that post mm. and if the person was not willing to put out any false information, mm -hmm. then I'll say, oh, this guy wanted to write that. There is a song called Sugar King mm. by a Ghanaian artist called Camido. Camido. And in, in the, on that song, he featured Nigeria's Mario Kun. So when they recorded um, um, DJ Khaled, mm -hmm. that was the time he was listening to that song. Mm. That is point one. Maybe that was what the person wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Now, point two was that this could be someone who also wants to be mischievous. Really? Yes. This is someone who wants to be mischievous in the mm. sense that you know, I keep telling you that when you come, when you talk about Afrobeat, when you mention Afrobeat, mm. Nigeria doesn't want anybody to feel like Afrobeat. You know, you are part of it or no? Really? No, no, no. They want. They don't want to share anything Afrobeat. Oh, it is African beat. Yes, but it is African that as it stands now, mention Afrobeat anywhere. Nigeria will tell you it is for us. But they will mention idea. fella. <laughs> they will mention Ben Boy. They will mention the video. They will mention Whiskey. They will tell you, yeah, they are the real Afrobeat don'ts. And unfortunately, it is working against the rest of the African countries who are also doing Afrobeat. Because, mm -hmm. one, recently I told you, I think last year, when the America had their Viewers' Choice Awards, mm -hmm. and it came for um, the Afrobeat category, category to be mentioned, no any African artist came there. Nigeria. It was 100% Nigeria. Representation 100% Nigeria. So, if someone records DJ Khaled mm -hmm. in a car listening to Camido's song, and at that portion where Kami, um, Mayo Kun's verse on wow. the remix was playing, oh, um, this is listening to Mayo Kun's song. The song is not for Mayo Kun for crying out loud, it was not even a collaborated work, it was not a collaboration. Mm. This is a pure feature. Original song came. And the remix. Then the man f saw the need to link up with some people, linked up with you, Mayukun, linked up with Kim Promise, linked mm. up with uh, Daku, and decided that, oh, let's do a remix. Mm. You come on the remix and you want to lay claim to it? No. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. So, as a stands now, I just want to leave this open. Mm. I don't want to be judgmental, but based mm. on whichever it falls, mm. then we can tackle being mischievous. Mm. By saying that the song is for Nigerian artist Mayukun, or maybe he did not know. Because for you know, if he heard the, the, the voice of Mayukun mm -hmm. and did not pay attention to the song itself, he would say it's Mayukun's song because he did not add the song title. Of course. Uh -huh, he just said, Oh, listening to Mayukun's Mayukun song. song. So it could be that because he heard the voice, he thought it is a Mayukun song. Okay. Or Maybe the person does not even know that the song belongs to Camido. Camido because mm -hmm. that, that, that verse has really become popular. Mm -hmm. And that verse has really shot the song. No two ways about that. That one, nobody can hide away from mm -hmm. that fact. The Mayo Kun verse on the Kami, uh, Sugar Cane remix, remix really shot the song. Even as it stands now, if you go anywhere and they are playing it, sometimes you wait for that particular verse. Mm. So maybe originally the person did not know, thought that this is for Mayo Kun and just put out a, a post that this is um, um, DJ Khaled listening to a Mayo Kun song. But if he knew and he decided to be that mischievous, then over to him. But, but the song is for a Ghanaian artist <laughs> called Camido. It is called Sugar Cane. The remix featured Mayo Kun, Daku and Kim Promise mm. and it is not for... Mm -hmm. Any Nigerian artist called Mayukun. Mm -hmm. So for um, Nijamix, mm -hmm. if you happen to chance on this video, you can go back and correct your post on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I keep saying that today's war is not about ammunitions anymore. Mm -hmm. Today's war is not about guns and machetes and bullets. Today's war is like some of these things. Mm -hmm. It is cultural invasion. That's the kind of war the world is fighting now. Cultural invasion. And if someone does it and you see no wrong with it, then know that you have been invaded, mm. you have been captured, you have been surrounded, and that you are finished. Mm.
Speaking of Kamido, there's also he has a body of work out. Yes. That is a life a lifetime is not enough. Mm -hmm. It is it is grind non stop featuring Kamido. Okay. And, and that is the body of work out there. It's okay. An album and people can also go check it out. Yeah. And his manager also got married. Yes. Uh, George Britton. Congratulations. Um, yes. Him. Congratulations to George yeah. Britton. You are the manager of Camido. Camido. You just got married. And the lady is also a media person. Wow. I don't know if she's still active, but mm. she used to work with um, City mm. FM, City TV. Okay. Uh, she was in the entertainment department. Mm. So I don't know if she's still there. Mm. Uh, but if she's still there, then that's fine. If she's not there and... She wants to do other things with them. Maybe she wants mm. to manage manage GB Interactive. You know, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, husband yeah. has GB a business like that. Yes. Rick does advertising, marketing, and, and more. Media. So who knows? Mm. Uh, the lady will be coming back because George might not be having time paying attention to that business mm. because of his artist management role. So mm -hmm. maybe the lady will be taking over. Mm. So congratulations to Mr. Britton. But as to how he was able to swerve all of us, still beats my imagination. So I posted it on Facebook and I said, how did George swim all of us? Then he said he himself, he nearly swam himself. <laughs> he said me, I nearly swam myself. On his marriage ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Roland, cultural invasion. Mm. If you don't understand, you don't get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But I understand. Mm. I know the effect. I know the impact. That's why mm. when we see it, we make sure it's corrected. So mm -hmm. to Nijamex, the Nijamex. Go back to your Instagram thing. Uh, let me check when that thing was even posted. They can go back. Mm -hmm. Maybe they will not watch. Someone will tell them that you guys can watch. So they should go back and do the change. Right. Um, right. Sorry. As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Very, very important. As soon as yes. possible. Time yeah. no day. Um, mm. Can you help me with the date? Because uh, let me I, check. I'm seeing it in my reels and not seeing the date proper. So if you can help me with the date too. I'll be glad. Mm. They should just go and correct it, and, and that's fine. Um, well, I think it was in the story, eh? Okay, it no, was it, nice. it's in the reels. It's okay. in the reels, so I'm sure. Okay, okay. no uh, problem. Uh, but it's, it looks like an old post, kind of. No, it is, it, it is an old post. That's what I'm saying. Not, they have it to is go not back in the it. recent. Yeah, they have mm. to go back to it and correct it. It is very important. Mm. We need to correct it. And but I wanted you to... Message. I yeah. wanted to... Touch you, you to touch on uh, DJ Khaled jamming to our people's song. No, 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 it's a good feeling. You see, the other day, I think I, I told you, I've been saying that Afrobeat at the moment mm -hmm. is the sound the world is listening to. Mm -hmm. Not long ago, the Big Brother, uh, the Titans edition, yes. which is ongoing, um, the South Africa and Nigeria collaborated mm -hmm. Big Brother. I heard they had a party, mm -hmm. and on that day, they decided to do Ama Piano. Interestingly, when they were doing that my piano, I saw so many reports on social media. People who felt they were not moved by the my piano tunes Sounds. the DJ was playing. But when they switched to Afrobeat, they were all vibing to it. Wow. So Afrobeat at the moment, any sound that has the Afrobeat things in there, elements in there, that is what the world wants to listen to. Mm. So DJ Khaled vibing to Afrobeat, personally, I'm not so surprised because I know that is what they are listening to. They are wow. tired of what they started thank i'm you, sure they've listened you. to it thousand times so they would want a new sound and the new sound they are enjoying is afrobeat so if really dj khalid is listening to a camido song it means well ah, dj khalid has been talking about black black sherry so course. what it means that they are following our thing wow we just have to go harder and do business with them mm. once again we also need to penetrate with our culture business wise mm. and not in a theft wise we need to do it business wise and not in a theft wise. If you go in a theft wise, and far. But when you go in the business wise, trust me, you're making headways. Let's do business because now it looks as if we have the world's attention and all thanks to Afrobeat. This has been yet another exciting edition of Sami Flex Speaks. My name, Roland Amate. You just heard from my big man. I did not mention it at first, but I will do it. Sami Flex. Bombi Ding yes. Mami. If this is Ten your first times. time, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to also share and also recommend this channel to your loved ones. We will meet on the next episode. Stay safe.